Hi, fifth grade. Today's question is, how can a sculpture be functional and artistic? Alrighty, fifth grade, we are finally getting our chalices back. If you weren't here, that's okay. You can use some model magic and make yours. Obviously, you want to be super duper careful with this, and please do not drop it. Keep it on your table. You guys are going to be painting one color today. Now, I know that sounds crazy. Mr. Bofield, I want to paint it all sorts of different colors. Yes, that's fine. I totally understand. Me too. I'm going to paint it probably uh, gold on the outside and then black snake. Choose one color today. If you were here last year, you know that these turn out better when you cover the whole thing in paint, get all those spots, and then the next day you come in and go over it. It really builds up the color and makes it look a little bit deeper anyway. So you guys are gonna choose one color. When you guys are ready today, you're going to follow the green ears. You will need a paintbrush, a paper towel, and then a water cup. And this can be shared by you and your partner. Now, the water cup is not so that you can clean your brush because you won't be switching colors. It's just so that your brush doesn't dry out when we're done. So you'll just need this for one time at the end of class. Before you get your paint, I would set up your table. Here's how I usually do it. I use the paper towel as a placemat, put the object over it, water cup, paintbrush. I'm Gucci, so follow the green arrows and then come All see All right, me. so for my color today, I'm going to use a gold, but can you choose any color you want? Absolutely. I will fill up your first color. Just tell me what you want and I'll get it for you. But if you need any refills, obviously you're just going to shake it up a little bit while it's closed. Pop it open with your thumb and squeeze. That's all you need. Please don't fill up every single one. That is Once you have it, please follow the green arrow so that no one gets splatted. As I mentioned, your goal is to cover the whole thing with paint. You can paint the inside, the outside, the bottom if you want to, but fill it up. What I've noticed when I've done this project before in the past, if I give out all of the colors on the first day that you want, people rush trying to paint and finish in one day, that they end up just making it look honestly lazy. The slower you go, you can get those spots. You're gonna notice that the paint's gonna dry really fast, which is really good. It means that you can build up those layers. So like right now I'm using this gold, but it kinda, it's a little bit see-through. So once this dries, in a couple minutes, I can go back over it again with that same color and really build it up until it's as shiny as I want. Are you getting it now? And even though I want this snake to be black or I don't know, I'm still deciding, I still want you to paint it gold or whatever color to really build up that color. Don't forget to go in and get all those little spots. You're constantly turning it, seeing if you can fill anything in. Cracks can be filled in with a little bit of paint sometimes, so that's always a good thing. I'm gonna time lapse this real quick and I'll be right back. So it's actually drying pretty fast. Scan it, you're welcome to do the bottom if you want. I don't really care, so I'm not gonna do it, but just constantly be scanning, making sure that there's no spots left. You can always go over it with another layer if you want it to be even shinier. That's what today's for, really building it up but really don't leave any spots. That's the big thing with me. I don't like the spots, it's my pet peeve. It just looks lazy to me. If you see a spot, just kind of poke at it with the paintbrush until it goes away and that should work. But we need to clean this out. First thing I would do is I would put the paintbrush in the water cup, just swirl it around. It's now clean. We're gonna leave it in the water cup so that my next class can take care of it for you and we're going to clean our paint palette out. All right guys we have two sinks available we have this one and then the other one. When you are ready to clean out your palette you're going to come over here turn on the water turn it to its lowest setting otherwise I promise you you're going to get sprayed. We should have a big old paintbrush over here you're going to take the water put it over the paint and then use the paintbrush and help paint the paint away. See how fast that was? It should take less than 10 seconds. I gave it a little tap you see any extras from like previous people get that for me too please tap tap and then i put it inside of my dishwashing rack even though i don't even have a dishwasher water cup with paintbrush goes in the sink don't have to clean out or anything turn off the water and you're done when you're done hopefully it is dry by the time you clean your palette just put it inside the fifth grade bucket if there's no more room in here, just put it nearby. That way I know it's supposed to go in there. There just wasn't enough room. And I'll make sure that no one touched Paper it. towel, that was easy. You can just throw it away. You don't need that anymore. If you could please clean your table and then choose any new activity, as long as your table's clean, I don't care what it is. If you were not here or yours exploded in the kiln, you'll need to use some model magic so that you guys can build it today if you were not here when we did this. Have a great day and I'm excited to see your chalices.